Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the strongest, most powerful Creed Aventus clone I've ever come in contact with for the price of under $100. And we're gonna compare it to Club de Nuit Intenso de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and its little brother, Silver Supremacy. This is called Supremacy, not only Intense, this is called Silver Supremacy. They're both by Afnon. We'll talk about a little bit of Nishane Hasibat. And of course, Creed. Where we got here is Creed Aventus, the world's most famous fragrance that started getting hyped in 2011. I am a Creed fanboy. I even had the Z01 batch. I had all the batches and I sold them all because it doesn't matter to me anymore. But I was a serious Creed Aventus addict and I love it so much and I learned to spray it as much as I want. And I love this part of the video. It's my favorite part. I want to add something. This outfit that I am wearing would not match this fragrance. If you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt, just doesn't go good. But I'll tell you what does go good with Creed. I'm just telling you a little bit about Creed before we get into the most powerful Ventus clone, which is this right here. What goes good with this is if you had an unbranded clothing that just looked nice and casual attire, this will upgrade your look like 100%. It'll make, you make your unbranded clothes level up i guarantee you that and that's just not the same so here we have the old age old contest what's better club de nuit intense man or creed aventus a lot of people hate creed they call it greed aventus because it used to you know back then in 2010 i was picking up bottles for 180 to 200 and that's those thousand dollar batches that the uh, addicts are going after and now the fragrance company was rebought and they're selling these bottles an average full retail price 500 discount price three three hundred fifty dollars and you could buy this 30 or 40 dollars average internet discount price united states so therefore what would you rather be then you have creed aventus lovers who call people that wear this they feel threatened if anything comes in contact because they're spending five hundred dollars they're biting their tongue everyone else is spending thirty forty dollars and the Creed Aventus lovers get mad and they call these people wannabes, but it doesn't matter because Creed Aventus actually goes after, they go after people that own Ferraris and Porsches, people that don't even know about fragrances. That would be their ideal customer. And a not also ideal customer would be a fragrance lover or aficionado that can tell the difference. Then you have people that say Creed Aventus is all organic and natural and they go and source freshly cut birch wood and all that stuff and the best ingredients across the world yes they do there's also something they call this very synthetic eau de toilette this is a 2017 bottle of cd n i m if you ever seen that in a article of news cd n i m is the acronym for club de nuit intense man look at this This is a bad spot to be recording, guys. Tell you what, he's gonna come up here and check the tree out. There's something wrong with the tree. Anyway, Creed Aventus has synthetics in it as well. So does this. The problem is that Creed Aventus and other high-end fragrances, they pay more for their synthetics. They use higher quality, more refined alcohol is what they call it. I've talked to a perfumer and it's a true thing. And that's why they demand a price. If you put, a very well performing decent smelling average designer brand name fragrance let's say dunhill into a chanel like dunhill icon if you put that into some chanel bottle they could charge 300 200 150 dollars because it's brand marketing your brain does something when you spray a brand of a different brand in your head nonetheless let's continue to move on real quick breakdown the eau de parfum club de nuit intense man this is a 200 milliliter bottle has a beautiful opening and gets you to where you want to be the creed aventus dry down absolutely and within 15 minutes and the opening is far better than this opening which is lemony and harsh but if you compare the two this one will project stronger than this one they both have about the same longevity in different aspects the way the the dry down comes down this one dries down beautifully and just reenacts this fragrance like magic and then you have the regular silver supremacy which opens up beautifully just like this and stays even flow for the next five to six hours. All three of these fragrances are five, six, seven, eight hour fragrances. And then you have the Nishane, which does not use any vanilla and it's got beautiful 
composition as well with very very high quality ingredients and high quality alcohol the higher quality the refinement of the alcohol and its chemicals the better the fragrance will smell the more money they'll demand for the fragrance and this does last eternally and it's very upscale i love this fragrance as well then you have people that claim that they're only getting two hours off Crete. I keep buying new bottles just to test it. It's not the case. You just, your nose falls under insomnia. You can't smell anymore. And then you have this one, which right off the bat, it'll smell like a nuclear warhead, a chemical mess, so to speak. And it will last you 24 hours. I did a test on all the paperwork. Each one of them lasts 8, 10 hours, even on paper. And this one lasted 24 hours on skin. This one, if you try to test this not only intense by Afnon against this on your skin, you can't test it because this one says, get out of my way, I'm the one you're going to smell. It actually trumples and blows them away in strength. You can't even barely test it because it's so strong. That's the, the hard truth. Then they also have a new fragrance I wanted just to show you that's doing pretty good. It's got a highlight on a floral note like jasmine. It's called Dunhill Desire Gold and it outlasted. Now we'll go back to testing these three fragrances. These three fragrances lasted through swimming pools, kind of, sort of. This one, the Eau de Toilette beats the Eau de Parfum when you last it going swimming. Then I took it jogging. This one beats this one jogging too that means I'm trying to test it in areas that it's real hot and sweaty so that when your skin evaporates in different climates how good does it do I can imagine how good it does in cool colder weather but I'm in hot weather so I can't test that unless I'm in air conditioning which I've tested it in there too and then you have this one not only intense not only blows it away when you go swimming you have to actually take a hot shower to get it off your skin I don't know why that is you have to take a hot shower to get it off your skin. You can go swimming, it'll still be on your skin as if you just applied it. You can sweat, you can go three miles running, which I did. I had all three of these on while running three miles. This one lasted them, it strength, the scent was still there. Number one, number two, and actually this strength of this fragrance when I went jogging was fire as far as the scent trail when you're running it was incredible but you don't want to hear that because you love club to me intense ma'am and this one i really didn't get to test it while jogging it's like slightly an upscale fragrance so if you have any information on not only intense it is just released overseas like in southern asia laos and places like that in africa they've released it in dubai it has not yet that of my knowledge it's not yet released in america they did however allow yours truly to offer it to you till it's official release coming up soon in september or october so you can still buy it here in the u.s just check the links down below and i'll throw you in a free gift thank you very much peace and love i'll see you on the next video